Kyron Davis, David Benavidez. Um, Kyron, it, it, it takes a, a special fighter to take a fight on basically two week notice and go into someone's backyard to go fight. So what does David Benavidez not know about Kyron Davis that he's going to find out about on Saturday night? Well, uh, um, I want to thank God. Thank God, hey man, thank Showtime for the opportunity. You know what I mean? Um, it's really not that major. You know what I mean? I've been, I've been doing this my whole life. I'm about since I was eight years old. So like stepping up two weeks, a guy tried to cheat. A guy tried to cheat, you feel me, and try to get on the stage and cheat. I think that's corny. I think that's disrespectful to the sport. Um, as a duty, as a fighter, I step in. You know, it's going to be a world-class fight, and I'm excited. Um, two weeks, it don't matter to me. We come in a fight. We come in a win. David, you kind of mentioned this a little bit. What, what went through your mind um, when Jose Uzcategui came up positive and they were like, whoa, well, maybe we'll have to postpone or whatever. And then you found out, okay, Kyron Davis said, I'm going to take the challenge. Well, you know, um, res much respect to Kyron Davis, too, for accepting the fight two week notice. Um, I feel like he was probably getting ready for something already. But either way, man, um, they came up with the, with the replacement opponent pretty quick. So, you know, we just went back into training camp. You know, sometimes you got to think that these things might happen. You know, somebody might get injured. Somebody might get popped dead or something. So... You know, I'm just happy that, you know, the, the fight was still salvaged. The date was still salvaged. And, you know, I, I've been training with multiple different sparring partners in the gym. So that's, that's the thing you have to do, too. You have to learn to adapt to different styles. And this is, this is no different. You know, we're just going to adapt to his style and have a great fight on Saturday. It's been six years since you last fought here at home. What has this experience been like to not only be back here in Phoenix, to fight here at the Footprint Center, and to be fighting on David Benavidez Day, November 13th in it's the city. It's amazing, man. I've had a lot of support from the people and for the fans. And the last time I fought here, I was on my brother's undercard. And this one, it was the U.S. Airways Center. So we're still on the right track. We're still doing what we got to do. And um, like I said, I'm just excited, man. I'm really ecstatic because I've been, my last two fights have been in the bubble. I think my last fight with live crowd was with, when I fought Anthony Durrell. So it's been almost two years ago, you know what I mean? So... Just to be there, just to see the, see the ambience, to see the energy for the people. Um, it's really going to be a great day, and it's going to be on David Benavides Day, November 13th. Okay, Ron, you mentioned Darrell. Uh, you look at your last fights. I mean, you're three, one, and one. And many thought you won that fight against Darrell, and they gave you a draw. Uh, but what did that outing do for you coming into this fight? against David Benavidez? Well, my thing is just shows um, you guys that I can fight on this world-class level. And um, it, it, what it does for me is just puts me in situations where I can take fights like this. You know, um, I'm looking to put on a show. Uh, I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I, I, I look forward to fighting on David Benavidez today. You know, we're going we to have a good time. Um, David has certainly made it no secret that he won his knockout streak to continue. Um, he did say that he was going to take you out. Uh, give me a response to that. Um, all, all, all good things must come to an end. You know, uh, I think the run is cool. I think, uh, it, but you got to look at it in a certain kind of ways. You know, you can't just look at it like, oh, you want on a streak. It depends who you're fighting, who you're getting in there with. Um, I, my name is Shut It Down, not Lay Down. So it, it is what it is. You, you can say what you want to say. Um, there's no disrespect. He's supposed to want to feel that way and put on a, you know, uh, a good time before his fans and all that. But I'm looking to do what I'll have to do, and that's a win. David, uh, your response to that? And listen, I'm sure you want to put on a great performance for the home folk here. But just as you watched Canelo and Kayla Plant, I think the undisputed super middleweight champion will be watching this fight too because there's been a lot of talk on – Depending on what, how and the way David Benavidez looks, you could be the next person there. Yeah, you know, I see guys like this all the time come and saying that my knockout at, uh, streak is going to come to end, this and that. But, you know, once they feel the pressure, it's a whole different, it's a whole different type of power. It's a whole different type of pressure in front of them. So, you know, it's going to be a good time. I want to see how he's going to react to my punching power, my speed, my combination. So, you know, I, I, I wish him the best luck in there. You know, he's going to need it. But it's going to be a great fight. I'm going in there. I'm going to just do what I keep doing best. You know, go in there, have fun. 
and it's going to be a violent fight. Do you think your performance Saturday will dictate whether or not you get the Canelo fight next? To be honest, bro, I'm not even I'm not even worried about I'm not thinking about Canelo. I'm thinking about Kyron Davis. You know, it's going to be a like I said, the first fight with, uh, with live with fans and live attendance. So I'm excited just to give a go out there, give them a good show. I worked extremely hard for this fight. It was supposed to be a WBC and IBF title eliminator, but now it's not. So, I mean, I trained for this fight like it feels a world title fight. And whoever they want to give me next coming after this fight, you know, I'm ready for it. You know, I've been professional eight years. Next year, next year is going to be my ninth year professional. So I've got almost a decade in the professional game. So, I mean, I'm just looking to continue what I'm doing. I'm getting stronger, I'm getting faster, and I'm getting more and more uh, experience in the ring. So this is what I love to do. As we wrap this up, give you a final word here. Kyron Davis, what can you guarantee the people who tune into Showtime Championship Boxing on Saturday night that they're going to get? Um, I can guarantee a great fight. And a great, I can guarantee I'm going to win. Davis, same to you. I'm going in there. I'm going to do what I'm always going to try to do. I'm always going to try to knock every, my, every opponent out. It's not just Kyron Davis. It's Kyron Davis and everybody after that. You know, this is just what I love to do. This is the style I love to fight. I'm a warrior. Like they say here, Guerrero, and I'm going in there, and I'm going to give the fans a war. And uh, it's going to be a great, uh, great night of boxing, you know, November 13th with myself, my brother. And, um, and we're just looking forward to give the fans what they want to see.